Hey, everybody, and welcome. Welcome. Welcome, everyone, to the Shadowcasters Network presents Misspent Youth, Teenage Rebellion, and an Effed Up Future. <laughs> dun, yeah. Dun, this dun. is the indie RPG from none other than the creative genius Robert Bowl, and we are playing the heck out of it. <laughs> we are, uh, Hell yeah. well, I should say they are a bunch of teenage mutants with weird powers, and I get to play the unity of all this oddly religious based <laughs> oppressive force <laughs> that is victimizing <laughs> progress and values utopianism this plague that they Ooh. use called, what's it what's it called the tears of unity tears of unity they yeah. they use it to infect people and and the people that get affected infected are the people whose uh, pure id score which is totally clever pure id <laughs> Uh, is too is too low, and they get affected with the tears of unity, and they develop this weird eye redness thing, and then they die. Except sometimes they don't die. Sometimes they get <laughs> awesome superpowers and rebel against you, and that's where we find ourselves. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> Last time we we left off in a in a pretty cool place, um, if you will. It was our our, our episode one. And now we're back for episode two. Uh, this we left off when um, the the teens had discovered that their genes contained or their blood contained the ability to somehow cure the uh, the tears of unity virus or the tears of unity plague, uh, and they went to the home of Pastor Robinson who seems to be behind all this mess, uh, or at least a big a big muckety-muck. And um, it looks like he knows about them, has been watching them, and is kind of creepily maybe pulling strings behind the scenes and may even himself be infected uh, and come out the other side with powers. But we don't know that yet. That's just some, that's just some heavy-duty foreshadowing. So what we're going to do right now <laughs> in, uh, in this beginning... Uh, of our of our second episode is we are going to reset the stage. All the things that have happened so far have have happened, and we're going to keep them all. But going forward, we're going to uh, choose a new set of um, friendship questions, and we're going to choose a new set of authority figures that I can use to mess with the teens. Um, I don't remember who went last time first, so Oz can help me with that. I went I went first last time. So Okay, so this time somebody else is gonna go first and we're gonna go in reverse order. Go or Cassie, I can though. go first again and we can still go in reverse order. You want me to go last? No, just go start with Cassie and then we'll work around. Okay, because you say okay. start with Cassie and you point up, but like on my screen. <laughs> yeah, I know. Like, <laughs> <laughs> doing it for the benefit of the stream. Oh yeah, so wait. <laughs> is that is that right? Is that Cassie? No, okay. it would be Cassie. My... For you. Cassie yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. You're right. Nope. Whichever way yeah, I'm pointing. Right is, here. What, here. To, to the <laughs> side of me, Cassie. Other side. <laughs> hey, yo. Uh. So, Cassie, we're going to start off with you, and uh, you okay. are going to create uh, an authority figure. Okay. All right. Um, an authority figure. Let's do... Let's see. We did that kind of stuff. We did some parents before. We did a nurse. We did... And chat, feel free to hop in there with some ideas if you have them. Okay, so um, can an authority figure... Oh gosh, can an authority figure not be like a person? Yeah, it, it's anything um, that is relatively temporary compared to the systems of control. Um, and uh, yeah, it could be anything that I can use to to thwart you. Yeah, a character or force that is present and controlled okay. by the authority. Um, what about like, I don't know, so like the 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 handbook of unity, like of the unity of all, like what if it's like, you know, this, you're, we're, we're like far away from like being the good guys now and now it's like, oh, but wait, we're supposed to be like this. This is what the book says we should be like. I don't know. Yeah, you know what? When I was um, <laughs> in another life, uh, <laughs> we we used to do these things called sword drills, 
and it was everybody had their Bible, and you would you would have to say a verse, and you'd have to go to your Bible, and whoever got there first and said the verse like got a special prize. What if we use that like in like a weird, janked up way? Well, it's pretty janked up anyway. But like, what if we use that? <laughs> what if we use yeah. that like like you you got tested randomly? Like, hey. Uh, what is what does this verse say? Or like, hey, what does this say? What is best in life? <laughs> yes, like, and, <laughs> if you, and if you didn't know it, that was kind of like, since since there's like a um, a little bit of uh, rebellion going on, they've instituted these mandatory like like you yes. got, you gotta know the Bible type things. That's what I would like to be with authority. Okay, what do we what do we call the what do we call the unity of all's um, Bible? <laughs> the, it yeah, sounds like the afterlife. <laughs> <laughs> do we, do we um, just want to say Bible? Like, is, do we want to like? Do we want to just straight up be um, like not um, sacred text? Sacred text, but like, let's let's name it. Okay. Uh, Ooh, what like is I said, we could we could just go straight up Bible, or we the could book. <laughs> just the book. <laughs> book of Eli. He wants about it. <laughs> um. Yeah, I mean, I'm good with the. Yeah. Book of all. That's that's the not book bad. Of all. Okay. All right. We've got the oh, book okay. of all. The source. <laughs> all right. Book of all. Next up. By the way, we are also going to have to start Ooh, the thinking source. about the friendship question. Uh, the source. That's that's a good one. I like that even better uh, because you know since God is like coded into the the pure ID. Yeah. Oh yeah! Yeah, like a source code almost. That's cool. Yeah, I like all right, that. Let's, let's, all right, it's called the source. The source code? No, that's too. Uh, obvious. just the source, I think. The source code. Um, <laughs> <laughs> let's not get too clever for our own. <laughs> um, but keep in mind, we're also going to have to make up friendship questions. So, like, if if you're done with your authority figure, start thinking that way instead, so that we don't. Okay. Uh, we don't we don't uh, spin out all right well uh, who's next i can't see let me pull cliff. up my weird cliff yes give me an authority figure okay i think um i'm gonna go with uh something of chum or jim's suggestions uh parole officer was one video rental manager calling about late fees was another telemarketers is another <laughs> Uh, Jackass Chris from the next town over who spells his name. I, I don't know about that. Uh, there's, there's a guy whose name is Chris, and it's his job to call around. You know, people are generally encouraged to confess about other people to improve their own pure ID by putting other people's down. Chris is uh, someone who's sort of called upon to, it's his job to go out and get out there and collect more, encourage people to spill their guts more, and and play up play up the whole um uh mistrust aspect of things to to keep everyone mistrusting each other so that they can be more easily controlled so He's chris right, the telemarketer of of discord so one of our one of our systems is control is mandatory church attendance and another is tithe and another is confession what if deacon chris is in charge of like enforcing those type things Mm. Yes, exactly. And he will call around and uh, talk to people, get to know them. Everyone wants to be on his good side because he can. It's really bad to be on his bad side. He's like he's like the the wicked uh, religious uh, IRS. And he's not likely to show up and directly confront anyone, but he can make for a lot of trouble, <laughs> gathering information, disseminating information. Disinformation. Mm, mm, it's I like it. And he does most of his work by using the phone. <laughs> <laughs> like old school. We right. have a fucking tech in our eyes, and he's just like, "Hello." <laughs> I know. I like it. I like it. He's this. Uh, he's this sort of power player who just gets on the phone and makes stuff happen. Okay. That's so thanks, Jim, one. for the inspirations on that. I know it's not <laughs> anything like what you actually suggested, but <laughs> we will. All right, who's next? Katie. Katie, give so, us. An okay, so here. Zark Muckerberg, the guy that created oh. Pure ID. <laughs> Jesus, we're going high level here, man. Okay. <laughs> 
Well, he's the one that's implementing new features every day. He could easily be somebody in the background and not physically present and say, today we're now enabling GPS on all pure IDs. Which, like, Deacon Chris is talking to Zark, and he's like, hey, buddy, I got, uh, I got something for you. All right, cool. Mm-hmm. Okay. And Oz. <laughs> um, I know we can bring back people as well. Sure. So I'm I'm between either bringing back Pastor Robinson, since he's obviously going to be a problem for us, or the Lord's Wrath, which were the people that have the superpowers that survived the thing, but then still work for the unity of all. That's true. We gotta we gotta have a meta discussion then, because Pastor Robinson would make a great. Uh, final boss. Then let's do it. Um, and, but if we if we used the um, the Lord's wrath and we introduced them in this one, if we had another episode, then that would be a great place. Do you know what I'm saying? Right. So, so, like if, so if we're gonna which finish up with this episode, if we're gonna finish up with this episode, then uh, then we should have Pastor Robinson. We are not finishing up with this episode. We have a we have another one in November. I know we have no, we have another like actual episode, but like. Mm-hmm. Like, are we going to finish all seven scenes tonight? That's what I'm asking. That's the plan. Okay, so if we finish all seven scenes tonight and we're going to do another one, then let's throw in the Lord's Wrath and then we'll save yes. Robinson for next time. I think oh, that's the last like, You had him, like, all ready to go. I don't know. Yeah, uh, like, no, it's cool. It's like, 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 he'll, like, he'll, he'll still be in the background. He'll still be in the background. Got it. All right. Maybe I'll throw some of those scenes in there. Like, I like it. All right. Lord's Wrath. All right, Lord's Wrath. They are the um, they are the powered up badasses. <laughs> so watch out for those guys. That's gonna that's gonna that's gonna go well. Back around, yeah. It's gonna, it's gonna be so great. <laughs> All right. So last time, um, if I remember correctly, we st- if we started with Oz, and then Oz would ask a question to Katie, and then Katie would ask Cliff, and then Cliff would ask Cassie, and then Cassie would ask Oz. This time we're gonna go in reverse order. So starting with Cassie, if mm-hmm. I'm getting this right. Mm-hmm. Cassie, you're going to ask a friendship question to Cliff. Okay. Um, to Cliff, my friendship question would be... Uh, was it worth it? Did, like, you're, you're, you've kind of sacrificed some of your like, own ethics about, like... Uh, you know, sharing center stage with your your conspiracy theories with our our, our good friends' uh, theories on what's actually happening. What was it worth that you know sacrificing your own convictions? So remember, friendship questions should be between like, you and the other player. Okay, all right. So how does that? And that's a fine question. How does that that's impact your friendship, though? I don't know. That's a good question. I need to rethink. Come back to me. Okay, we'll come back to you. Uh, Cliff, we need a question uh, from you to Katie. Um, I guess. How does it feel um, <laughs> now that we're essentially on the run, that we're killers, that we have these powers? Um, how does it feel for us to be kind of superior um, to the people that we're facing? How does that affect your relationship? These are hard. Because I know. we because we both have these these powers that make us, you know, <clears throat> more powerful than your average. Okay, people. so we you're can, struggling with this that. too, and um, you're. Hmm. Let, well, I, let, let's let's say this. How can we use our powers to to make things better instead of just making things? So just being more destructive. <laughs> how can we use our powers? Both of our powers are about like projecting energy, right? We to burn we it all that? to the ground. How do we to do good, do we not just that in a, not in a just good way? way? Okay, all right. Can we use that as a force for for good? Yeah, because both both Bell and Alice have both used their powers in a disruptive manner, where where Unity and Strike have kind of like we haven't even u- we don't uh, even know we uh, have yeah, them. I even, yeah, I think that we don't even know that we have. 
You remember that you guys have powers. <laughs> yeah, oh, I yeah. Yeah. When, I just uh, haven't had the discovery when, uh, yet. Uh, when the Lord's Wrath shows up, then you'll have your you'll have your major chance. All right, we'll keep going. Katie, uh, you're going to ask Oz a question. Uh, something that really came up in the last episode too with uh, Strike, where did your fire go? Like you were this individual that was fuck the man, screw this, screw that, and all of a sudden he became this very melancholy filled teen of is it even worth it? Why the f- why the why the hell are we here? Where did my fire go? My answer. Hmm. We're not supposed to answer answer these right now, right? Yeah, we are. Are we? Are we? Yep. No, I think we're supposed to I thought they were them. supposed to answer them when they came up. In- yeah, we're supposed to use them, uh, bring them up uh, in in scenes later. Yes. You 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 answer them, or maybe not. Like, you, there's the option to not answer them. But we do, even if you do answer them, it's not like you've answered them in character. That's just going to come back around. But if, if we do answer them, we don't answer them now, right? We talk about them when they come up for a scene. No, we can answer. We are supposed to answer them now. I think. Um, oh, yeah. Yes, the the default is answering them now. Yeah. So okay, um, I was mistaken then. So. Okay. Uh, I guess my an- my. Where did my fire go? Is I'm. I'm afraid of what I'll do. Hmm. So like. So like the fight the power guy gets power, and now he's like, uh oh, this is the wrong direction. Like who's watching the watcher? Yeah, yeah. All right, all right. That's a that's a pretty uh, that's a pretty legitimate answer with integrity. I like that. He's like, I don't know. It's, In that it's, case, uh, then uh, what's um what's Katie's answer to my question? Yeah. How do we use our our our, our powers to to make a difference uh, for good? Um, I mean, obviously, we're gonna have. To... Fuck. See, I can't really say that because I burnt down the fucking hospital with people still inside. Of well, like maybe, maybe that's maybe that's part of it. It's like you know what? We have powers, and maybe burning down hospitals is not the best use of my power. Like, no. Maybe it's time to start thinking in a different direction. I think that's the direction of Cliff's question. Yeah, um, avoid mass collateral damage. Unless, unless you're like, you know what? Burning <laughs> hospitals is my new MO. <laughs> uh, well, pyrotechnics is my MO, and, you know, fire starters is <coughs> what it becomes. So, okay. so, so what, what you're not saying is that we should try to hold it in and not use our powers. What you're saying is we need to focus them to where they're going to hit the targets we want to hit. Where, no, yeah, the, the hit the pillars, hit the pillars of unity, much uh, not the bystanders. Yeah, her answer is aim. Aim. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Beautiful. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that is a good answer. Oh man. All right, Oz, go ahead and fling a question at Cassie. I should start uh, using the name unity, Strike. Yeah. Fling a question at Unity. Um. My question should be something about how how do how do we how how can I help you um I want it to be something about your helplessness like how can I help you how can I help you be confident Let's try that one. How can I help you be confident? Okay. Okay. Um. Gosh. You know, she she's you know been uh, essentially she's been abandoned by her family, like the people that she loved and that she thought loved her and cared about her, and so like you know I think that that you know she just wants to be loved, not like you know it doesn't even this doesn't have to be like a romantic thing, but like she just wants to feel like somebody actually cares about her, like just because she's her and not because she's special. She just wants to be I just, I just want love. Why can't people <laughs> just love me? I'm the best. I'm so cute. Awesome. <laughs> so, so, like, something, something unconditional. Yes. 
loyalty, trust, love, something that's not going to go away. Yeah. Okay, cool. And Cassie, so, Unity, back yeah. to you. Yeah, so I was actually thinking Tavelle. something similar to Bell, except that it's more along, like, you know, using my, my helplessness, like, you know, am I, am I just dead weight? I feel like the, de mm. the decision that I made about, like, staying where we were and then we got caught anyway, I feel like I messed up, and, you know, am I, am I, am I just dead weight? Your question to me is that are you yeah. just dead weight? Yeah, do you think uh, I'm just dead weight? Can we make that less of a yes or no question? Sure. Um, how, how can I not be dead weight? How can I not? Yeah, yeah. How like can that? I? How can I not be dead weight? How can I be like a better part of the team? Maybe I don't know. Hmm. I think. Uh, well, Bell would say. You are a great part of the team, and um, you're, you're totally not dead weight. But if you want to make sure that you do what's needed, then um, don't hold back. I like that. That's a good one. Don't okay. hold back. You gotta go don't all in on hold this. Back, you know, like go with. Okay. Well, Step okay. up quickly. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Cool. All Please. right. Okay. I like it. I think we've got a good uh, we've got a good set of authority figures. We've got a good set of friendship questions. So um, unless there's anything else from the from the rogues gallery, we're going to move into scene one. Actually, sure. Mm -hmm. uh, there are, there are a few things. One is we have a stream boss that needs defeating, and every time that you defeat the stream boss, you help us uh, defeat the authority, or you help the authority defeat us. It's uh, essentially that you grant us blocks and rerolls and such. So when you become the stream boss, you decide who you want to award that to, uh, authority mm -hmm. click or both. Um, and uh, yeah, do we want to reintroduce our characters or do you just want to like a quick? Um, one more thing. I don't mm -hmm. think we've given him attention and as much as I don't like to feed his fucking ego, it's a Venzi's 14 month sub this month. 14 month resub? Uh-huh. Hey! <laughs> Thanks, man. Uh, so fancy. He dropped a resub. 14 months. 14 Pretty months. months. <laughs> oh, it doesn't give him that attention. It doesn't mean that. I don't need, I don't need to deal with the ego. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, cool. Except for that, yeah, do we want to uh, do we want to reintroduce the characters at all, or do we just want to like? I think that's a good idea for anybody uh, uh, who might not have uh, listened to the first one or might need a recap. That's a good idea. We'll start because it's on my page first. We'll start with Cliff. Please introduce your character. All right, I'm Bell Truth, a 15 year old boy. Um, I. I am a uh, podcaster. Uh, Bell Truth isn't my real name. It's my podcaster name, which I more or less use as my real name anyway. Because my, my real life is ruined ever since I got the Tears of Unity, but then I didn't die. My means are that I'm cool. My motive was optimism, but I sold that out. I'm now cynical. My opportunity is I'm sneaky. My MO is my special power, which is shocking surges. And I believe that aliens are the origin of this weird religion that's taken over our planet. <laughs> and they want to make sure that we stay um, uh, essentially technologically degenerate so that we can't mount an effective resistance when their ships arrive to take over our planet. I have no idea how long that's going to be. It could be tomorrow for all. All right, all right, Bill. Oh Thank you for God. that We're very screwed. much. We'll move on now. <laughs> it doesn't matter anyway. Oh my gosh. Humanity will never be up to the task. It Cassie, why don't you tell us about your own bed? Um, I am Unity. My parents named me after them because they are uh, after our organization because I was supposed to be their golden child and perfect in every way until I decided I really enjoyed reading I particularly enjoyed reading, reading books that were going into the incinerator and I got a lot of other ideas in my head and then I got found out and then I got the tears of unity and abandoned by my parents at the tender age of 13 
Out on the street. Out on the street. Blood coming out of my eyeballs. <laughs> Nobody cares our assholes. They are. Dicks, <laughs> All right. Unity can't be unity if it's against unity, man. Yeah, that's right. Fuck man. unity. Wait, which unity? Well, it's, meant, uh, it's meant to go either way. Unity is it's fast. She's got pride. She's yes. got the idetic, 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 memory, and also trust issues. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> good. It's a good friendship question, though. All right, Oz, <laughs> moving on. Well, before I move on, thanks to Palmer for becoming the stream boss. He gave the click a reroll. So we're two to zero right now. Yay! Hey. Crap cracker. All right. Uh, all right, let's see. So I'm Strike. Um, I'm a graffiti enthusiast, uh, artiste, <laughs> um, as evidenced by the insane amount of vandalism that I did in the <laughs> previous episode. Um, Dicks I'm, everywhere. It was art. Medicine. It was modern it was, art. It was fucking art. Yeah, that's right. I'm I'm fucking Michelangelo, <laughs> bitch. That's um, right. Michelangelo of dicks. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm bad. I'm I've uh, my motive is thrills. Um, I'm very sneaky. Uh, I have I have a superpower that I haven't discovered yet, but it's supposed to be chameleon camo, so that'll be interesting when it shows up. And my disorder is that I'm a shit starter. Uh, also, in my past, uh, Strike revealed to to everybody that uh, his parents uh, he's well actually he's lost two sisters to the Tears of Unity because uh, his parents would uh, scapegoat all of them, basically like find anything that they could to confess and raise their pure IDs while lowering ours. And we deserved it because we had something to report to about it. So um, ever since then, that's why he, that's why he is the way he is, man. He's so broody. Mm. <laughs> so, so practically bryonic. <laughs> ah, strike. All right, next up we have Katie. Hey, so I play Alice, the atheist scientist, because she basically started off her entire existence as the poster child for Pure ID. Everybody wanted to be here. She was on all of posters and trids and whatever you want to think about it. She, she, was, she was the campaigner for what, what a good child in the church of unity is like. But she was also very scientific mind and but always played within the lines, but somehow one day there's a unity. And uh, she decided from that point on, fuck the system. So uh, she somehow managed to figure out the cure, uh, albeit it's a bit violent of a cure, kind of kills the person a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it still worked, it was fine. But she, she, she's a bit of a brainiac with uh, no filter, surprise. Um, she is a smart individual, uh, more wrathful nowadays, it seems that, uh, current situations pissed her off beyond the point of reason. Um, she is a trusted face, though, still, somehow, in the Church of Unity, a lot of people view her as just some poor kid that got wrapped up in shit, and that she's still that golden child icon that is just completely misfortunate. Um, but she is a fire starter, and we did burn down a hospital, because that was great. Burn it all down. Sure it's, always, <laughs> it's always the ones that you think are the good ones. <laughs> and, and she is a bit of a know-it-all too, so she's she can be a little uh, condescending, but she has the best interest in mind for the group for now. In, in reference to burning down the hospital, you say we like it was a uh, <laughs> group effort. <laughs> look, look, we're all in this together. I wasn't the one that was whipping casseroles at people and you know <laughs> shocking the shit out of them. <laughs> <laughs> also, Poor thanks grandma. to thanks to Jim, Jim or Jim, who just gave the authority a block for becoming the new stream what? boss. Oh no! Yeah, Bastard. boy. Fuck you! Yeah. God damn it! And to Jim. Coop for that twelve month subscription. That's what uh, I like I'm just gonna to keep hear. doing this for every big. Why? This is what my viewers deserve. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, we're, we're still in the league. Cruel and unusual so. punishment. Because <laughs> even the authority needs some love. So no, far, no, no. I think Strike is the only one who hasn't sold out at all. Mm -mm. Yeah. No. Not yeah, at I had all. the opportunity to, but I decided to. Because he's it. being thoughtful about his power. 
as all <laughs> as all good people should. All right, I think uh, I think that's it for our introductories. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right, then we'll get started. Uh, first off, we are going to say that Cassie, you've got this yes. first round. Okay. So you're going to choose either a friendship question or an authority figure that's going to form the focus of this uh, next scene. Okay. Um, let's choose an authority figure. Start it off. And uh, let's see. I'll choose... Not the not the wrath people. I, we got to save that for later. Um, yeah. Yeah, that sounds like a scene five. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that sounds like <laughs> where? Oh gosh, where did we put the list of of the questions? The friendship questions just, are down here yeah. with the player stuff. So like, yeah, it's all under the players. How can I help you be confident? Question answer. I'm highlighting. It. Okay. Um, can I choose somebody else's question? Of course. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I would really like to do the um the question from Alice to Strike. The where did your fire go? All right. Yeah, you little emo. Wait, fire okay. girl. <laughs> so, um, so that's the that's the, that's gonna frame this scene somehow. Um, but then yeah. now you have to tell us what is happening. Uh, set the scene a little bit for us. What's going on with the click? Since um, they they were in uh, since they were in Pastor Robinson's home so so while so long ago. And how long has it been? Where are we at? Yeah, um, you okay. get to you establish the kickoff for the episode to get the story rolling. So excellent. So we um we left Pastor Robinson's before we could get into too much trouble after we realized that maybe we were in a little too far over our heads with that guy. And so we left and we went to uh, a neighboring town to kind of keep ourselves hidden. And so we're there right now. We've been there for like three days. And everybody's really just kind of quiet and dull and, and, and trying to lay low. And I think that I'll Because I know I am. <laughs> you cut okay. out for a little bit. I didn't hear that. Oh, okay. Because um, I was like, uh, yeah, because Alice is probably getting antsy. And so, and so am I. So is Unity. <laughs> so that's my question. That's what I think. Do you get it? Did you get it all? Got it. Okay. Yep. All right. So you guys have left. You are now kind of. Where did you say we were? We're just in a in a town, a uh, neighboring town, um, right now, just in a, uh, I guess, a hotel. Maybe we we stole Pastor Robinson's cash and we rented a hotel room. Okay. You're renting a hotel room, and uh, it, it is what time of what time of the day? It's um, the afternoon, and it's been raining all day. Okay, rainy really afternoon, sitting. hotel room next town over, and it's been what a couple weeks? You said. Yeah. Okay. I thought it was three days. Let's do this. Or th oh yeah, three days. Sorry. It's, it's been three, three days. days. It's been it's been a couple weeks minus two and a half weeks. Well, it's been like, like yeah. <laughs> I, well, I, I mean, what I meant was like we've been in that same spot for three days. Yeah. Okay. That's, okay, yeah. that's what I thought. Okay. Yeah. Are we three with? Weeks, um, but we've... Are we with mm -hmm. Davincia and Justin, the the people that we saved, and um, Deacon Danny? That's a good question. I don't know. Um, Deacon Danny made it seem like he wasn't interested in like giving up on things, but he wasn't yeah. willing to. Mm -hmm. He wasn't willing to fully sell out with you either. Yeah. Not sell out. Maybe, 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 maybe he helped the... us get this hotel. Yeah. I think he's going to be one of those guys who's like, who's like an ally from within. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, Da Vinci and Justin, what's up with them? Um, I'm pretty sure Justin was one of the ones I wanted to stay. Da Vinci was uh, all about getting, getting, fuck getting away getting, from us. Yeah. Getting away from us and, and getting back to a normal life. Yeah, they, she wanted to be plugged back into the Matrix, right? Yep. Yep. So what happened with her? Ooh. Ooh. New, Gosh. Uh, <laughs> new stream. What happened with her? Um, well, hey, she... Hey, thanks, Psychotron, for, for subscribing. She stayed um, at Pastor Robinson's, uh, even though we, we 
told her that that it was never going to be the same. You're you're never. It's never going back the way that it was. But no she, amount of concealer is going to hide the tears of unity. You're going to mm-hmm. be fall. You're going to be found out. But she she was confident that Pastor Robinson would um, help her regain her place in uh, the Unity Ball. So she stayed. Okay. I feel like Justin would have stayed with her. That's a good point. Him. Say like Justin. Justin stayed with her because he wanted to. He wanted to look out for her, not because yeah, because they're family, her. and family sticks together. Except for my family, they just oh. kick you out in the street where you belong. Yeah. Okay, so we're in a hotel room. It's raining, and uh, it's been it's been a, a minute since you guys had uh, had uh, had that showdown and left Davinci yeah. and Justin behind. Mm-hmm. So, what are you guys? What's going on right now? Let's do this. I'm switching through channels um, on the TV, and I every I only stay on there for like two seconds at a time before I flip to another channel, and I've been doing this for the last 45 minutes. And I'm sitting at a desk nearby, rapidly tapping a pen, fidgeting, trying to figure out, like, is there some way to stop the instant death with the whole cure? Yes, there's a cure, but it's gotta be, I think, a little less violent. I have this theory that nobody is going to survive, not everybody is going to survive it, and it needs to have a 100% success rate and hopes of taking down you. So, just annoyingly tapping the pen. You know the person, the one that's just like tap, 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 all the time. Just constant noise, fidget, 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 fidget. But no Stephen paperwork. I'm going to call for, <laughs> you ready for this? <laughs> I'm going to call for a struggle. And the the struggle is this. That strike has been bottling up all of his impulses. And and he is about to snap. And (laughs) the ticking and the clicking and the (laughs) constant flipping. So I'm going to I'm going to say all of all of this, this entire world and everything that's gone on and and Ian, how bad it's gotten since he started learning things and since you know he got the tears of unity everything has been building up and like he was already fight the man before and now he's even more so and it just feels like it feels hopeless you guys feel like you're not making any difference and now you're sitting in a hotel room watching tv and the pen clicking and and it it's just it's so overwhelming so i'm gonna say he's going to snap very soon if uh if we lose this Right. Yeah, I don't know. This is, is, this, is a, this is a weird one, so we'll see yeah, how it goes. A, yeah, strike is yeah. Strike staring out a window. I'm going to take that suggestion from from Palmer. Strike is strike is uh, kicked back in an armchair. Uh, his feet are up on like one of those little end table coffee tables that they can fit in a in a motel room, and uh, he's he's just keeping an eye out like through a little crack in the in the curtains, and he's hearing the the clicking. The <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> So like, who's gonna who's gonna stand up and address what is clearly a ticking time bomb? I'll stand the, up. The ticking the ticking is being uh, <laughs> <laughs> the, the ticking is the clicking of the pen. Yeah, you're you're catching strike throwing dirty looks. I feel like this would be Alice. a great scene, like in a movie, right? Where like the yeah. clicking of the, the and, and, and like you don't even get a full sentence in on the TV before it gets the channel gets changed. So you're not even, like everything is just going. Uh, to so you're gonna stand up, Bell. Yep, I stand up and I roll a seven. Oh, hey. oh. nice! Fucking authority on that and one. I'm gonna use sneaky because uh, I've gone out. I was just like couldn't stand being stuck in in like the room with everyone while it was raining. So I've gone out and I went to like the nearby like there's like this little shop. It's something maybe a bit more than a convenience store. Uh, a bit less than a grocery store, kind of a small town general store kind of place. And I, I've shoplifted uh, some stuff, like a bottle of like cheap booze, some cheap whiskey, uh, <laughs> some pack of smokes. Look um, at you, damn! Uh, some uh, just oh. a, a few like uh, like odds and ends, some snacks, uh, just like some candy bars and stuff like that. And I've, I'm Which just coming really back easy. into the place. Which is really easy because nobody from the church says hi to each other in that shop. They all just kind of keep, you know, keep to themselves because nobody else wants to be seen buying booze and stuff like that. 
So yeah. they all just kind of like keep keep <laughs> keep looking at their feet. <laughs> Update. I think we forgot yeah, just... goals. Goals of the scene. Oh, that's Isn't right. That... Yes. Yeah. Um, okay. Oh yeah. What? We need Rob, that's why we need Robert Bull in chat. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, the uh, the the goal, the question that is um, is going to come in scene two. Oh, yeah, but it, every scene isn't there like a hope and a. Yeah. Uh, like scene a, one is what's up and and the kickoff. So oh, if this okay, goes, so if this goes the way I want it to, um, then then you will be inspired to go like, look, we can't just keep running and sitting. That's what I'm hoping for anyway. I sh oh wait, you're right though. When I say ha ha. If this is what you're talking about, you're absolutely right. When I say I'm calling for a struggle, I have to say what I want to happen. Is that right? Yeah. Is that what you yeah, we have to decide what we want to happen if we That's win. That's right. That's right. I want um, Strike to go off on Unity so badly oh, that, that, that their relationship is strained. On Unity or on... Um... On Unity because awesome. she needs she She's needs vulnerable. something unconditional and loyal and has trust issues and Oz and her <laughs> have a burgeoning trust friendship relationship and I would like to see that smacked. <laughs> okay. That's what I want. Savage. Yeah. Uh, that's what authority do. Yeah, and, that's good. Oh, uh, I'm, I'm loving this. Okay, you guys are going to love how mm -hmm. evil I get here. But All that's right, what I want. So, Alright, so we need, we need a hope. We need an interesting so, hope here. Yeah, I so, think that what if, like, you know, we can uh, work it out where we finally have a motivation to, like, do something instead of just sitting around? So Kind of, like, come up with a master plan. That's yeah. our long-term goal. Come up with yeah. a master plan of our next steps. Yeah, you want to you wanna take you wanna take the uh, the impetus back. Uh, yes. And, and you guys want to start calling the shots instead of just reacting. Yes. Let's just go burn down some more hospitals. Yeah, so cool. our, our goal is to become inspired with a with a real purpose. Inspiration. Mm. That's a good one. I like that. Be inspired and to action. All right. Uh, so you rolled seven, and you've got this thing, and and you got the the goods. Yep. I come uh, up knocking on the door. My hands are full. I need somebody to let me in. It's one of those, pl those places where it's like the, the doors are on the outside, uh, kind of along the edges, and there's a there's like a there's two stories, so we're on the first floor, and the car is parked pretty much like right outside our door, a few feet away, and so I'm I'm, I'm dripping as I move on into the place and uh, you know, set down this bag that I've got, and to sort of uh, tip it over and uh, let it let it all spill out onto the bed. Oh. Huh. All Did right. Did you just steal some hooch? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, no one really paid me any attention. I figured I could grab whatever I wanted, so I did. Wow. It's like, so I stopped clicking, and it's like on this you know, infomercial for Unity in the background now. Anyway, um, I'm going to go dig around for some cups over in the little... Um, yeah. Uh, dresser area where the coffee machine is uh, at, and the uh, TV right. is right next to. Yeah, strike is I'm going gonna... to reach for the for the cigs. All right, I'm going to say you go for the cigarettes, and um, out of the corner of your eye, you see the unity, you know, propaganda stuff on TV, and it just like you're you've kind of already had frayed nerves at this point and it's just it's starting to grate to you and you're like it's cool it's cool i'm just gonna open the cigarettes i'm just gonna have a smoke and this is like i'm just gonna be able to handle this you open up the the box of cigarettes and they are all broken oh i'm gonna claim number three <laughs> <laughs> mean <laughs> oh my and, gosh and it, and it just sets you off like you're just now you're just like Yo. it took that little bit of hope and and it turned it into into frustration and now there's really nothing to distract you from the the unity commercial which seems louder in your ears. Yeah. Uh strike goes uh Bell, what the fuck? Did you just like grab this like you just snatched this out and you crushed all the cigs, man? This is useless. I'll step up. What? <laughs> all right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll step up, um, and I'm going to use my fast. Okay. And so I will, uh, seeing 
what's about to happen. I can see like the the glint of like rage underlying in, in uh, Strike's eyes, and I remember I, I read a book once about how to roll the perfect joint. Hold and, on, hold on, uh, roll oh, first. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be good. I forgot. I need to roll. Thank you for reminding me. What, what is did this I get? Music? Sorry to interrupt, but yeah. <laughs> All right, I got a six. It's too yeah, Yay. it's too sexy. I don't like. Too much saxophone going on there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, Thanks for yeah, stopping yeah. me, Cliff. I appreciate it. So I I got a six, and uh, <laughs> no. Um, I'll just go back to yeah. This one. So uh, I I remember reading a book once about how to roll the perfect joint, and so I go over uh, and be like, "Don't worry, um, I can I can totally I can do I can fix this." And so I take. And I like very carefully is like peeling the paper because it's slightly damp from the rain, so I can peel it over. Um, and I take like a few of the stri- like the strips of the cigarette paper that are like the longest, and then I just like okay, and I kind of stick them all together with some spit, and then very carefully start like rolling things up to where it looks like the semblance of a uh, of a, instead of a cigarette, it looks like a joint, but it looks like the <laughs> most, perfectly well joint. I'm like yeah. Uh, is this smokable? Well, I mean, I, I assume so. Like, that's what it, that's how it's supposed to look, so I think you like that end, and then you smoke from that end? Oh, <laughs> I know before, what I forgot, you? and then, <laughs> I, I know what I forgot, and so she takes out an index card, and then she, like, takes a tiny bit off and, like, puts, like, what do you call it, like, you roll it up really tight, and then she sticks it in Filter. the- uh, from so that way it's like there you go there's your filter that's pretty cool what, what happened to them are they all like that you sit in them or something did you what? sit on them no oh, i just brought them back and dumped them on the hotel i just grabbed glasses for the no I look never, word to the wise next time you know make sure that you treat them well Alice, something Alice. i'm gonna something <laughs> about this situation is like this should be a good thing right this should be where where unity stepped in to do something really nice and kind of save the day but something about this situation reminds you of growing up and in in a positive way or a negative way reminds you of one of your sisters and and so instead of being a good thing like the memory just just gets to you like you're already emotional and the memory of your sister, like Unity, reminds you of something your sister did once upon a time, and it just pisses you off instead of being helpful. So it's like the the moment where you all tried to smoke weed for the first time and failed yeah. miserably. <laughs> so I'm gonna choose uh, twelve. Okay. Uh, Strike remembers, and it makes you angry. It makes you want to. Yeah. Flash up. No. Strike. Strike remembers his parents uh, coming across them. And cross his sister like rolling this this joint and them like freaking out and her begging begging for them to just not report her on it and that was the last final straw that sent her and got her the tears okay. of unity and uh he just like snatches the thing out of Unity's hand and says, "You shouldn't be fucking dealing with this shit anyway." Uh, I'm standing up. Damn. All right. What? This, this has been one of my you, favorite man. scenes, by the way. Well, I wasn't gonna stuff. smoke it's been it. Pretty awesome. I thought that that's what you wanted. You shouldn't even be touching this stuff. You're too young. Uh, yeah, no, definitely standing up. All right, Alice. Give us a All roll. Right. Nine. Hey. All right. So. I am going to be using my trusted status and I'm just going to kind of put my pen down and look up over at Strike and go, dude, chill the fuck out. She's been reading a shit ton of books, stuff that's been burned away. So yeah, of course she knows how to fucking do it. She just made it better for you. Like, calm it down. And she kind of like flicks her fingers a few times and gets a little flame going on the end of her thumb and she kind of nods at him and holds the flame up is just like chill the uh, fuck out that's that's legit that's a cool <laughs> and he like holds cool his move. cigarette out like huh? <laughs> and like and like there's just this moment that like, kind of lingers between like strike looks into alice's eyes and like the flame is there and it's like 
yeah, it's a cool, it's a cool little cyberpunk, cyberpunk moment. And um, all as of you sudden, guys are, so I was going to say, as you guys are doing that, um, uh, Bell is uh, opening up the uh, bottle of uh, cheap whiskey and, and pouring a generous amount into each of the four plastic cups that I've uh, that he's retrieved from the. Uh, <laughs> Hell uh, yeah! The, uh, from the dresser. This is some serious misspent you. <laughs> pass one over to Strike, and then uh, one over to Alice, and then like kind of pause because like yeah, Unity is thirteen. That's pretty young. But then I just reach it over and hand it to her. And, uh, <laughs> it occurs to you, uh, Strike, that um, when Alice lights your uh, cigarette, cigarette with her with her cool powers. That like everybody else seems to have something that makes them stand out uh, as a result of the tears of unity, and you don't, and you're just like, what am I even doing here? I'm so yeah. sick of this. Like they'd be better off without me. You know what? I'm just over this. Let me just go. I'm just gonna leave, and I'm going to claim uh, number two. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Who's gonna stand up? Well, um, I'll stand up. I yeah, I was, I was trying to, it's like, I've heard him question. Walk out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, I'll stand up and I'll say. Alice goes back. You know, like, uh, oh, well, I got to roll. Poster. I've got to roll. A four. Man, we are like um, yeah, yeah, all yeah. over the, the board here. We are, we are, we are, uh, we're getting some good character development here. Um, <laughs> Strike is gonna use his. <laughs> Strike's gonna use his bad. Whoops. I have another paper clip. Uh, Strike's gonna use his bad, and uh, he's going to just instead of taking the cup, he takes the bottle and he's gonna take a swig. <laughs> yes. and because drown he wants to yeah he's trying to drown out all his feelings and he knows this is the way to fucking do it and he's just like chug 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 <laughs> hey <laughs> come on man we've only got one of those and like unity's just like staring at him and not like she put to, had put like the cup up to her lips and it started and it burned and she hasn't even taken a real sip yet so she's like this staring is, like, like wide eyed like <laughs> Oh my god, he's gonna die! <laughs> right, who, the f who the fuck cares, man? At least you've you've got fucking superpowers and shit. It must be what? nice. No, it must be nice. It must be nice having superpowers. You get to light things on fire, you get to shock stuff. I okay, know, I, I see that. I see where this is going. I stand up. I haven't I haven't I haven't rolled it oh. in yet. Oh, oh okay. so so the the Sorry. taking the swig right like makes you like gives you that little like boost of like you know what like I feel kind of badass like you know like I used to when I when I used to spray paint stuff you know and people used to see me and like you know that made me feel different and cool and like I was doing something like I was rebelling um, and here you know like I get a little bit of jolt of that by by drinking the whiskey from the bottle um, but immediately as soon as you're done like you get a little bit more. Um, uh, your inhibitions drop as well, like, and you and you start to really just share your feelings. So you you start to whine a little bit, you know, and and just get a little bit hopeless and say, why do, why are we even doing this? Like, why? You know, we're just sitting here, and I'm tired of this, and you know, this is all hopeless. And I'm going to claim eleven. <sighs> I've got that whole block. Yeah, right. <laughs> but. Don't don't roll low or high. <laughs> no, that's not specific at all. Yeah. Um, uh, Strike Strike's just bitching. He just he looks like he's just like kicked back in this chair. He's got this bottle in his hands. He's basically giant like monster cigarette in the other. Yeah, yeah. Right? like he's just he's just this is like the lowest you've seen Strike, and like you don't know what is what his deal, but he's not like this. Yeah, this is angst that's not coming from the situation. This is this is stuff that's that's been rolling around for a long time, and and, and he's just he taking can't. it out on you guys. Yeah, yep. yeah, you can't he can't hold it back anymore because you've had too long to just sit and do nothing, and and it's just not going to be kept anymore. Uh, who said they were going to stand up? I think it was Katie. Uh, Katie, yeah. 
Ah. Pray, pray for me. Oh lord. Yeah. Yes! Seven! Oh, yeah. Did, did the you authority want to block it? Yes. I did. did the authority want to block it? Or some sneakiness. Uh you know what? Oh no. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna let this one go. I think I can I think I can screw you worse later. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. That makes me feel so comfortable. Um <laughs> help us. Um give us give us more rerolls, guys, please. So Opti does it, please. Anyways. <laughs> or give the authority um, more blocks. <laughs> um, no. <laughs> so Alice is just listening to to Strike's fucking antic fucking whining and she's starting to get a migraine as she's trying to work on her paper and in a real stealth move she takes her pen and just kind of whips it at him and just beans him square center and then just goes back and looking at her work nothing like nothing happened she just goes and dings him right in the head and it's just like she looks back at him and she's like are you gonna hog the bottle or not are you gonna pass it around what the fuck you could have taken out an eye he hands you the the bottle and just kind of smirks she grabs his hand on top of the bottle and looks at him and it's like dude this isn't you where the hell is your fire gone like you were more driven to end all of this now look at you and she takes the bottle from him half the bottle gone and a cigarette is this who you are and she goes and pours herself a drink and offers Belle the bottle sits back down and looks back at her paperwork Bell takes a swig of the bottle and kind of <laughs> it. Yeah, uh, is that really used to this? Does yeah. that, come on, Strike. You can't tell me that you don't have some sort of a power, right? We 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 got something. Uh, the there's the wrath or whatever it's called that we heard about that uh, really? they were trying to recruit. Uh, I can't remember. Was it Unity or Alice? Alice, but um, Alice, yeah, Al- yeah, yeah. We, Unity Alice doesn't have a, a power. We don't know it. No, no. Well, I mean, you maybe gotta not have something, a- right? Maybe you just haven't discovered it yet. So uh, what you're saying that we should experiment and try to figure out our superpowers? Well, it happened for Bell, and it happened for me. It came out when we needed it the most. So I'm sure it'll come out for we need the most. Just yeah, I don't know what. I'm well, not an expert with this stuff, and I, I, I pass the bottle over to uh, the Unity and then uh, start busting open a uh, uh, chocolate bar. <laughs> you know, I, mean, well, I have, like, the bottle in one <laughs> hand and a cup in the other that I'm not going to drink. <laughs> so, as a, I mean, like, this. everybody's kind of, like, looking the other way, and I'll, like, take a sip, and then when nobody's watching, I'm just going to, like, kind of pour so it back into the <laughs> bottle. <laughs> <laughs> and then she's like, "Oh, this was so good." No, <coughs> no. <coughs> oh god, this is shit. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> uh, yeah, Strike's gonna Strike will look at everybody and be like, "No, you're right. I've, I, you know what? What matters though is that we're all together. And you know what? If it happens, it happens." You know, uh, it's... I'm sorry. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. All right, so spin this out. How does this go from... To inspiration? Uh, I'm about to quit to inspiration. Uh, we need to inoculate that town. Any town. We need an example. We need to prove that this is all horse shit. And it'll just spread like wire wildfire from there. Okay. Then... Okay, I think it's it. Yeah. Seen. We're doing it. Doing it live. All right. So you spend the next, uh, however. We end the scene. Long... We end the scene with like a with after some conversation with like the hands in the center of the circle break. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you do the. Uh, have you guys named your click yet? You haven't really. No. Yeah. Not really. No. We'll work on that. Yeah. <laughs> you, you feel like you, you put all your hands in and you're like, you know what? This would be the good time to have like a name, but you what? don't have a name. Ooh, so ooh, just ooh. Like... No, then let's come up with a name. Um, I want to maybe something that like breaks apart because, you know, we got the unity of all. It should be something that breaks apart. Something like the the 
Mm, okay. Discord. The, the... Or... It's, it's gonna need... You gotta, I want it to be like fucking like sm something smashy. Something that breaks apart. Oh. Uh, something that's like the, the, the wrecking balls, except l l more... Balls. Balls. Smash and grab. <laughs> We're fucking balls, man. <laughs> So like so like the uh, problem the problem is like is that you unity is normally a good thing and it's being it's being corrupted and used here so like you know even you guys like in trying to be like the best kind of unity like are still you know what I mean like you don't want to play into it so you're pushing back unity plus it. one yeah right <laughs> <laughs> unity <laughs> unity times infinity we're that much better we're, we're better better uh. than. <laughs> Oh wait 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 wait! Better than Team Unity. Shaft. Better than Unity. It's better, better than, than you, Unity. but it's better than better Unity. than you. <laughs> <laughs> better than you. BTU. Dot dot dot. Yeah. I had a name and it just slipped. No, whatever. No. Um. It was like the. It'll come to us. We'll have a. We'll have a name. But yeah. like, I was. There'll, uh, there'll be a the, moment. In, like in the. Um, the detonators. <laughs> The, <laughs> no. The, oh no! Wait. Um, uh huh. There you go. No, you go because I'm trying to remember. Clone it. <laughs> you can say something like the the, the purifiers. Oh, the, okay. Uh, sanctimonious. Uh, it's corrupt, <laughs> right? We're gonna we're gonna take down the, the corruption from within, and no, uh, never mind. That doesn't work. No. Well, yeah, right. we're like purifying the disease. What? No, maybe we're just the cure. Maybe we're just the solidarity. <laughs> Or how about the misfits while we're at it? <laughs> yeah. Solidarity. Why not? Why not? <laughs> I want you guys to be called the cure. Oh my <laughs> God. And that could be our theme song for next show. No! <laughs> we don't have the That'd rights to that, Opti. Oh, we don't have the rights to that. With the liberators. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Like, right. Solidarity. Right. We'll, we'll say you guys came up with a name. And in the meantime, chat, keep giving names. With lots we'll of names the name as we were drunk. Yeah. We're getting yeah. gradually more drunk. <laughs> we're on, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're inspired to make up a name, but we don't got. We're, we're just too fucking off We don't know yet, then. We're just fucking off. Except for Unity, who's just still pretending to sip and pour the whiskey back into the bottle. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're not going to play with that. We're going to try, like, mixing it with some soda or some juice or a couple different things, because, like... Mixed bag. If we're drinking, we're all bottle. drinking, right? <laughs> we're going to have some peer pressure here. Okay, uh, okay, peer pressure. I get it. I get it. You guys make it palatable. Good job. Congrats! <laughs> you fed an underage like, minor yeah. fucking <laughs> alcohol, you monster! <laughs> All right, we're gonna move on to scene two. Okay. Uh, and this one is going to be uh, Cliff. You are going to call the authority figure or the friendship question. Okay, so where's our authority figure list? Well, it's up okay. uh, kind of center on the top. Oh, here we so, go. The, yeah. the source, Deacon Chris, Zark Muckerberg, or the Lord's Wrath. Ooh. Let's go with Deacon Chris. Deacon Chris is calling around to make sure that there aren't, uh, there isn't any um, um, untoward activity happening at this motel. It's been known to be a place of prostitution and other unsavory dealings and so Ooh, it's going to be a uh deacon chris is going to be checking around and making sure that the people who are staying in the motel are the kind of people who should be staying around and not not fugitives all right Housekeeping. So keep in mind um that this is the scene uh where we get a beat which some where something pretty heavy happens and then also this is going to be the, where the question that frames the rest of the episode is introduced. This is the yes or no question that will be uh, answered when you win or lose at, at the end of the episode. Uh, so what's happening in the first five seconds uh, of this scene, Cliff? Uh, we are all kind of drunk and hungover, some of us more or less than others. Strike. And, uh, <laughs> uh, we're just completely unprepared, right? And. Like the room, like looks awful. There's messes all over the place. One of the beds and has bed like bugs. Booze. That already came with it. That's not our fault. 
there's probably like a burn on one of the blankets from a, a cigarette that we managed to like figure we could like smoke them by like smoking half like it's just smoking half of the cigarette right because it's broken it's not that big of a deal but um anyway we we're all like sprawled out and drunk and passed out and feel like absolutely like absolute direct warmed over right and then there's an authoritative <laughs> knock on the door oh <laughs> Who's gonna answer that door? Wait, is there a struggle now? <laughs> no, it's not a struggle. Yeah. Um. Although, although Cliff just handed it to me on a on a platter. <laughs> <laughs> um. I think that I don't know. I, I'm not gonna answer. Bring the chair over in front of it so I can stand up on the chair and look through the peephole. Okay. Uh, you look through the peephole. Uh, and it looks like, um, it looks like somebody who works at the hotel. Housekeeping? He's got, like, got a little name badge on, and, uh, Aww, no, it doesn't no. look like housekeeping. It looks like somebody no who's, who's more, like, at the front, at the front desk or something. Okay. Um. Okay, <laughs> run over and look get like which one looks the most adultish here? Not me. Um, I'm in my boxers right now. <laughs> not him. Um, Alex like, kind of starts kicking strike with a fur foot, just like get it, don't get it. Alex, still wearing his jeans and hoodie. Uh, fine, so fine, 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 so fine, so fine, so fine, so fine. So fine. So no, you have the, you have the good pure ID. Oh yeah, but I also have this shit so she she grabs a bit of concealer and just kind of slaps it on really quick <laughs> <laughs> goes and opens up the door so uh there's a guy his, his name tag says tom and uh tom looks at you and, and he notices that your eyes just look way over overdone uh, <laughs> and, and then like a little bit uh, sloppy but he figures you know what uh I slept in my makeup. You know, the the Lord says not to judge. You know, so he he's he's seen worse makeup jobs before. So he decides to continue care on his business, and he says, "I'm so sorry to bother you, but um, it it appears that the phone has been off the hook, um, and Deacon Chris has been doing his normal calling, and um, when it came to your room, he has not been able to get through. So we just wanted to come in and, and check." And um, in order for us to get our, um, our our rating for the month, you know, every uh, every room has to check in. So if you wouldn't mind checking in, um, we would really appreciate that. Alice nods and it's like, phone must have been off the hook. Might have been kicked off. I'll make sure it doesn't happen again. Uh, I really appreciate it. And, and, and note, he gives you this look that says, I'm judging you. And he says, <laughs> no judgment. Thank you. I appreciate your concern and that's, your clarity on the situation. That's, that's this key word, right? For I'm judging you. So they say yeah, no, no judgment. judgment. Right. Oh, and so, Alice knows it, but she knows the whole fucking rigmarole with these yeah. guys. So she's just like, I appreciate your time and concern and I'm sure that we are all open. And Tom dips her pure ID anyway. And uh, he wa yes, he does. You, you notice it just gets dinged just a little bit, right? Just like enough. But then he walks away and he whispers, poor. Oh my god! Mm, is there a struggle yet? Can I, feel I so struggle? Bad saying that. I feel so weird and gross. I know, I know, but it's so right. But that's what Tom would do. Damn you, Tom! <laughs> You're the worst. You're a horrible person. I hate you. And it's it's like the rebel in me that wishes that I would just have like some sort of phallic instrument to like wing at him as he's walking away before I close the door. I okay, we will go for a struggle. <laughs> oh my gosh! What's the struggle? Okay, the struggle, you guys are a bunch of hotheads, so I'm not gonna let you get away with just saying, this is what I would do. I'm gonna make you fight to, to, to not do it. So you um, you are offended, you are pissed. Yeah, I'm fucking and, deeply uh, offended and I'm kind of wrathful, you know? I so. <laughs> Unity and, realizes she's picked the wrong person to answer the door. And <laughs> what I want is for you to cause a scene and get Deacon Chris alerted to what's going on here. Because that's exactly what will happen if you haven't checked in and you create a scene and don't check in. So I'm going to have um, Deacon Chris alerted to your presence. And, you know, the moment that happens, you know, all hell goes. All hell goes to Bas 
hand. Sure. All hands go to be- hell baskets. Uh, uh, <laughs> All hands go to hell baskets. <laughs> hands to the hell basket. Oh, there we go. We're we're uh, we're we're all hands in the hell basket. All hands on basket. All right, here we go. I think our uh, hope our hope should be to expose him for the hypocrite that he fucking is. Ooh, that's a that's, I like it. So keep those in mind as you guys uh, are choosing your responses, and who's gonna stand up first? Me. There's no fucking question of who's standing up first. He oh, called me a right. fucking whore. So in this one, <laughs> in this one, like standing up could go either way, right? Standing up could actually get you posed a bit. So let's see how you. See yeah, how you here's do. here's here's. I'm gonna be using my sellout motive because I think it's the most appropriate at this point, considering that I am a wrathful individual now and I'm not so much outraged. I kind of oh. have a uh, temper tantrum. That's what I love about um, Alice. She just takes it to a hundred. Like, what right did away. you just call me? <laughs> oh, Roll them dice. Uh, 11. Yeah! Mm. <laughs> I like that roll. Wow. Mm. Okay. Oh, oh, man. So, she being a wrathful individual. Oh, hey, look. There's an empty bottle on the table right by the door. She picks it up. Aims. <laughs> oh, snow! No! I, I, no. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. What, I don't know if I'm. Step up, like right now. You can't. It's my <laughs> turn. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, she lets the fucker fly right to the back of his fucking stupid head as oh, Raffle tends to kick in. <laughs> Sorry, guys. So he gets hit in the back of the head and he goes down like just boom. Like Tom was never really like a strapping a strapping guy in the first place, and so he. He just crumbles under like being hit in the back of the head with this whiskey bottle. Hangovers make me um, cranky. But not only that, <laughs> but uh, the, the ruckus that's made like causes the next couple of doors to peek their head out, um, and at least one person like sees you standing uh, in the hallway, kind of like post throw pose. <laughs> Um, and this this level of violence, while acceptable at the highest levels of government, is obviously not acceptable <laughs> in, in a low rent hotel like the one that you're staying at. And so you get the impression uh, that the the scream and the woman who says "I'm going to call the police" uh, are going to cause problems for you here real soon. And I'm going to claim. Uh, I'm going to claim uh, three. And seven, right? Yes, three and seven. Thank you. I've got a good throwing arm. What can I say, Palmer? Oh, my God. This is the worst. Oh, this is the Unity, best. You said you were going to stand up before, so I yes. don't want to jump in before then. But if you're not going to stand up, I'm going to totally do something. So. Um. I'll keep... No, you, you, you do it, because, like, Unity was, like, rushing over to get, and then she just, his paws stunned, mouth agape, as, as she watches Tom collapse to the ground. Yeah, Stripe <laughs> thinks his, this was kind of hot. His sticking up in the, in the air. It's a very unflattering thing. <laughs> I didn't light him on fire. You guys have to give me some credit. That was <laughs> yeah. the other option. Not a great roll, but not a disastrous one. <sighs> and I'm going to, um... I'm going to move with, uh, I'm going to use my shocking surges. I'm going to move on out there and see that she's winged this guy and hit him. (laughs) So this uh, person is going to like go for the phone and call the cops. And I'm just going to say, don't you dare. He deserved it. I say with just utter confidence, having no idea what actually went down, but I'm, you know, I'm backing up my friend Alice and I just like, I concentrate and there's no like visual zap this time. I just feel the the flow of power through the phones and whatever in the systems and um, the the telephone in her room just like all of a sudden sparks and fries. Hmm. Whoa. She says, oh my goodness, the Lord must not, you must be speaking true. The Lord doesn't want me to call. Something <laughs> just happened to my phone just then. Um, but then she realizes that she's here in this hotel and she kind of covers herself up and, and, and rushes back inside the room. Uh, but, but meanwhile, um, uh, you, you are also, you're also very aware that somebody is already on the phone 
and uh, says something like you just like very very faintly hear like uh, uh, yes Deacon Chris I, I can see them now um, there seems to be some sort of violence going on outside oh god and I'm going to claim uh, two Sorry, guys. I had to do it. No, you did. Had to you do did. it. You did. Uh, I'm going to stand up. Okay. See what I remember. An 11. Aha! Yes! You get to be wrathful, too. Yeah. Come with me. Be angry. Uh -oh. <laughs> All right, you keep in mind what you wanted to happen and, uh, and see if we can't get a big question out of it, too. Are you sure you're not blocking this? You're going to allow my win? Yep. Okay. Uh, all right. So I have actually, to use you know what? No, I am going to block you. Screw you. Oh, yeah. Why did you keep pushing it, Oz? I just want to make sure he's aware of his options. I I do know that I have that. I just I was trying to save it for something big, but I feel like I can. I feel like I can work this to my all right, advantage. All right. All right. Let's reroll this. Let's reroll this. Eight. All right. Nice. The struggle continues. Struggle um, boss. Okay, so I am going to use Let's do shit, I don't know. Uh I'll go with uh I'll go with Uh I'll go I'll go with th thrills. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I'll go with thrills. Um, so, team, oh, watch out for that bottle. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> strike is going to. <laughs> strike is going to <laughs> literally just stroll out in his boxers like does not give a fuck <laughs> and he's he is going to just bang on this uh this person's window that he hears making this call and says you hang that up you hang that up or you're going to have to deal with all of this. I'm still kind of hung over. And he's just trying to distract. <laughs> oh my God. Um, so the guy, the, the guy who's making the call, like, I mean, as you're looking at him, you're thinking like, you know, if anybody shows up here, like you're going to be the first to get tagged. Like, look what you're doing here. Like, you know what I mean? His whole, his whole spread has just got like, you know, uh, like the worst kind of, of pictures of, of, uh, Questionable mm. content. There you go. Thank you for putting that uh, point on it. He, and, and and he's just got his whole like spread of booze out everywhere. And you could tell that he was just trying to deflect. Um, but it, the truth is, if anybody showed up, this guy would be going down. So he kind of gets shocked that anybody's like looking at him and, and no. pointing out him. So he goes, oh, uh, uh, and he hangs up. He hangs up abruptly, which which may come back to, to bite him in the, in the long run. Uh, but as you do that, you, you hear this sort of uh, beeping or or maybe even like a buzzing coming from Tom. Coming from Tom? Yeah. I um, step up. I step up. No, you're not stepping up yet. I haven't, oh, yeah, I haven't, yeah, I uh, I haven't I'm claimed yet. I'm just I'm narrating. Going I'm going to uh, narrating. So both it's basically Alice and Strike out in the hall. So since Strike is busy just kind of flexing on this guy <laughs> <laughs> Alice goes and kind of like ruffles through Tom's duft where the bee coming You from? find his pure ID and his pure ID is blinking red the same way that yours all did when uh, when you realized you're, it had dipped too low and you were going to be infected. Now of Ooh. course Alice, yours didn't, but you've heard tell. Uh, and so you look at his pure ID and it is it is dipped below the uh, the line, and so not only like does does Tom obviously have his uh, issues, uh, whether they're rebellious or just simply craven in nature, uh, but also uh, it does look like they're probably coming for him right now. Um. And if y'all don't beat feet, 
you're going to get caught up in that. So I'm going to claim 12. Shit. So I'm relaying this. Uh, I'm, I'm holding up the fucking pure idea. I'm like, strike. Strike. Oh, I want to. I, can I stand up again? Mm-hmm. I'm going to stand yeah. up again. Yeah. Okay. I think. Uh, oh, wait, well, you, I would, sorry. I would, but I think. Hold up. What, Cliff? No, go ahead. You sorry. Know. Well, well, I would have if, if it was in the moment, but when when you guys moved on, I think it's better for you to to do it. So yeah. All right. I'll find my moment. I promise. Okay. 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 Rolling a six. Oh God. Okay. <laughs> okay we have three real rolls left because our viewers love us and yeah, they yeah, don't yeah. love the authority. <laughs> Yay! Uh, you guys. Fuck the authority. Come strike. on, where's the drama? <laughs> yeah, strike. Uh, strike turns around, sees the the thing go down. He's like, "Oh, oh I'm gonna use my. I'm gonna use bad." Okay. Uh, and he's gonna say, "Oh, buddy, you know what happens when uh, your pure ID goes down? Maybe you owe this lady an apology, and we can give you a nice bump back up so you don't get fucked." <sighs> Is he even conscious right now? Uh, Maybe you, we'll say yeah. that we'll say that he was. Uh, he was. He was starting to recover. Yeah, I was like, maybe the reason that you're so low is because you keep calling girls whores. Maybe you should fucking man up. Alice kind of dips douche. her head. <laughs> like, uh huh. <laughs> snap, snap. Uh, you, you, you do notice um, that he he's not used to being confronted. He didn't know that there was any uh, any men around, and he thought he could just get away with saying what he wanted to any female that did, that was alone. Uh, so he does feel a little bit of shame about this, and so being confronted, he he sort of uh, very meekly uh, apologizes. Didn't uh, fucking hear you. A little louder, please. Boom! Thanks, Avenzi. Uh, Just became the stream yeah. boss. Oh man, we. I know. It's <laughs> he, oh, that's here. it's gonna go to Opti because he's Jamie a shithead. Jamie's gonna give me some love. Him. That's what's gonna happen. He's so mm-hmm. fucking predictable. Uh, yeah, he's looking at me right now with like a little <laughs> shit-eating grin on his face. I know. <laughs> I know what's about to happen. Uh, Tom course. says thank you, there thank you, Damien. <laughs> <laughs> He looks to the sky and says, "Thank you, Damien." <laughs> he looks like he just got his hand caught in the fucking cookie jar. That's what the look like. like. <laughs> just on the uh, side, and I'm like, <sighs> "Yeah." Tom Tom apologizes. I I'm very sorry. I I shouldn't have said that. Uh, you know, uh, and and he does this. He does this thing. He goes, "Please, please help me out. Please give me." Uh, you know, a positive, uh, pure ID, so I can, so I can avoid this. This is my last chance. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm not a good person, and he just, he can't help it. He looks up and he says, he looks right into Alice's eyes and he says, "I'm very sorry. No judgment." With just this hint, this glint of like, uh, I uh, can't standing help. up, standing. I can't help just uh, crapping on you because I just don't respect you. No, uh, oh, no, so no. He, he like really kind of wants it, but anyway, oh, yeah. he can't stop himself. I'm going to give it to from, him. I'm standing yeah, the no, fuck no, up. No, no, I'm going no, no, to claim. <laughs> you know you want to stand up. You know you want to stand up. <laughs> okay, okay fine, fine, because you've got one shot to do this, <laughs> and he's going to be on fire the next round, because this is where this is leading. I'm fucking making a barbecue in this oh goddamn God, hotel. Oh <laughs> But also, oh right? Like, if you don't help him, then you've got you've got some folks rolling down to. Don't uh, care, Luau, yeah. pig roast. Let's oh, go, geez. light this fucker on well, fire. We're gonna find out. <laughs> Five. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Wow! Oh my God! We are literally we really, have. Are we really yes, doing this? we are literally yes. all oh over the map. We have the nine left, and that's it. Oh Which God. the authority is gonna get? Oh my God! We're gonna land on something. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing we have three rerolls. <laughs> so, um, I, I, have a block. I hear the no judgment, and after everything that I've watched, like Unity has just been like stunned, frozen, just in horror of like all like how everybody is responding to this, and I'm then she sees it, violence. and she sees the no judgment, 
with the, and then, like, she doesn't even have to see Alice's eyes to know that they're flashing red right now. And so she's like, no, I'm gonna use my fast. I'm gonna mo move straight in between Alice and Tom. And be like, Alice, Alice, he's not worth it. He's a horrible person. Just let him get the tears of unity. He's gonna die. He's gonna die anyway. You don't have to do it. <laughs> <laughs> so her whole defense is let the authority do its job <laughs> whatever whatever they do is going to be worse than what you do yeah uh, I don't and, know and the, uh, the authority I mean, I know, agrees I, so I'm I just going to choose nine <laughs> <laughs> Cliff, I'm gonna stand up. I was about to say before I do the inevitable, do you want to stand up over there? I rolled a five. And again, what I want to happen is for the authority to come back anyway. So however they get there, right? Like this is this is playing into what I want anyway. Yeah. So we rolled a five. Fast. Yep. Oh man, we're gonna we're gonna block that, son. Oh, oh, you piece of shit, God, Damien, Damien! You piece Damien. of shit! Oh my God! Well, I'm the person whose fault that actually it is. So you know, <laughs> oh, Damien, you're an asshole. Ah, re-roll it, re-roll it, re-roll it. I rolled a nine, which is <laughs> not good. That's authority. Yeah. We got, we got to re-roll. We got to re-roll. We re-roll. We got re-rolls. Okay, like three of them. you want to use a reroll? Yes. Try it. Yes. Uh, we'll use one. At least one. Holy fuck. Five oh, oh, again! Five oh, again! Yes. Right, I asked again. I said, you know what? She's right. He's going to bring the authority down here. They're going to give him the tears of unity. He's going to uh, turn up sick in a day or so, and then we can use him as our example. Let's get out of here. We'll come, oh shit! We'll, we'll come back for him when he's sick. And oh snap! And then we'll <laughs> yeah, by killing him first, right? <laughs> okay, so the question that comes out of this, uh, from what I'm seeing, is you guys are going to leave him. The uh, the the unity is going to affect him with the the tears of unity, and you are going to come grab him up and. Since you don't feel bad about experimenting on him, you're going to use him as your guinea pig to see if you can indeed uh, cure the Tears yes. of Unity with, with what you've come up with. Yeah. Is that, the, is that the question? I think we could do a better question. You want question. to actually have a, a workable cure that you can... That doesn't kill administer? people instantaneously, but I yeah. certainly sure as hell wouldn't mind making this guy suffer so for that's, a few days. So that's the question. Can you mm -hmm. cure the Tears of Unity? Um, that was like our last... That was our question last time. I kind of want to... Well, we know that we didn't um, cure it. Can we make a more effective cure? Uh, you know, because the last time was, is it possible, you know, using our blood to cure this? And you realize that it is possible. Now, I mean, like, I agree. It, like, thematically, it's it's very similar. So if you wanted to shift it a little bit, can we do more good than bad? Maybe is the is the, is a better question for where you guys are headed. Okay. Okay. How yeah. much can I make this little bitch scream is my question. <laughs> Can we do good while being bad? What? Yes. <laughs> or it comes to worse, the evidence is well hidden by, you know, lighting it on fire. Oh my. Okay. Um. <laughs> Alright, are we, are we good with that? Are we good with that question? Is yeah. the what the question is what gets revealed or answered at the in scene six, right? Like we yeah, gotta... it's, do you win? Right. This is like the the scene six. If you win that one, you win. If you don't, you don't. Or maybe that's scene five. I don't remember. Uh huh. Um, how no, how six. about a how about a question of how do we determine who deserves a cure? Ooh. Like, 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 can we determine who? Like, do we play? Can we choose? Do we play God? Do we play God? That's a good, like, all around question. Okay, that's because it can even apply to our powers as well. Do we play God? And if you lose, the answer is what? Yes, and we become people that we hate. 
Yes, either yes or yes, but in a good way or bad way. I don't know. <laughs> yes or no, right. like. Like yeah. that's what I'm saying. Like, is it maybe? Is it? Is it? Are we playing God? Right? Like, are we doing what we're what we're fighting? And yeah. if you win, then the answer is, you know what? I don't think we are. I think we're we're just fighting somebody else who is doing that. We're mm -hmm. trying to okay. level the playing field. And if and, and if, if we lose, lose, we can do better than then Unity. It's like, <laughs> then it's like you guys, you guys have become that thing. You now we, we can do better than Unity, guys. Honestly, yeah. 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 You guys, you guys set yourself down a darker path. Awesome. Okay, we'll go. We'll go there. All right. Nice. All right. Uh, we'll end there. Uh, scene three. And uh, this is going to be Katie, I think, is setting this scene. Ooh. Okay. So authority figure or friendship question. I've got to go with Zark Muckerberg on it, the one that I put forward, because with this whole thing with Pure ID and everything else, I think an update needs to be put out by Zark Muckerberg. I think it needs to be made a little more difficult for us to be on the lam. I think that GPS idea I was talking about earlier needs to come into effect that you can see all of your friends on your map now and your local pure IDs. Make sure that your town stays pure. Mm. Pure ID now with GPS. Yikes. That's, uh, that's a Horrendous. pretty intense one. Yeah, it's pretty bad. So let's, let's I mean, do I that. can ease it up. Or... Oh, no, no, no. No, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. <laughs> yeah, so this is the this scene is scene three heating up where the plot gets really cranked up. Yeah, so I mean it fits. Yeah. So yep. like we all just get like a system update suddenly, like out of nowhere. Yep. And kind of like the Microsoft Exactly. Kind of like the Microsoft Windows ten update. Unless you know how to stop it, you can't stop it. Right. Okay, so how does this scene uh open up? Uh, it starts us off at the hotel. Somehow we've managed to or no, well, we've left. So uh yeah. let's Let's just say we've skipped town to another one for convenience sake at this point, just because obviously we're on the lam and, well, we've got a nice wad of cash thanks to uh, Pastor Robinson there. So we're going to be stopping off at another motel, you know, low on the outskirts, next town over. And uh, it's going to start with all of us kind of dozing and all of a sudden a beep of our pure ID waking us up, a uh, system update started. And uh, I think the scene will start with Unity, even though she's not here with us, still flipping through the channels neurotically and coming across kind of she like... Hasn't slept. She no, just... she hasn't slept. She's just sitting here like, <laughs> Gotham Copper, Gotham Copper. Okay, okay. Uh, two payments in 1999. Okay, okay. Just, just neurotically watching all of this. And Unity, by the way, you're still neurotically watching like uh, as seen on TV ads. And then yeah. all of a sudden it flips at 3 a.m to a broadcast from our savior, Zark Muckerberg, the man that it gave us pure ID, saying, greetings citizens, welcome. I have great news for you. As of 5 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, I am announcing that pure ID has now uploaded our newest, greatest feature. You've heard about it in beta testing, but we're bringing it to you live today. We hope you all enjoy the new GPS Pure ID. Help make sure that your local city and or suburb is pure. Thanks again. I'm Mark Zuckerberg. Oh, wait, sorry. Zark 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 Zuckerberg. <laughs> Zark Muckerberg. Signing off. Am I the only one awake right now? No, all of us are starting to wake up as we start hearing a beat, like, yeah. kind of, like, resonating in our skull from our pure ID, notifying us that it's updating, and there's an upload progress bar starting. Fuck! Fuck! What do we do? <laughs> I'm just like, I'm just like, I'm trying to, like, do right. something to my eyes. I'm literally poking into my own eyes, and I'm, like, trying to, so like, right now, it's at, right now it's about, like, 2%. It's a slow <laughs> update. Alice runs on over and pins. Um, strikes arms down like, dude, don't. We'll figure a way out of this. We always do. They're gonna fucking <laughs> track us. But they don't oh, know it's us yet. There's gotta be a way to take the pure ID out without, you know, and she points to his eye. Looks at him, are you, are you good? I can, I, I'll let go. Are you good? <sighs> are you and good? I like 5%, 6%, and I'm like, Alice reaches yeah, yeah. back and fucking slaps him oh. in this moment of panic. Are you good? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine, okay? But what do you, right. what's your plan? What's your genius plan then? I, I, I don't know. Let me think. Let me think. It's going to go active before I can do anything, but we'll, 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 we'll figure something out. We'll figure Bell, something Bell, out. you're Fuck. smart with electronics. What, what do we do? Do we fry the chips? Can we fry the chips? Bell. 
They ran our brains. What do you think? No, we're fucked. But you, but you have that. You can, you but you can control the level go. just enough to fry it without frying our brain. I don't. I don't even know sure. where they where they put Who? this thing. It's, isn't this like deeply embedded in our brains? There's no way to get this thing out. It's Who it's, do you it's think on our. I should experiment on first. I volunteer unity. <laughs> Well, I actually um, read a medical journal about how they actually insert the, uh, the, the chips in, into the... It's actually, if you... Yeah, and she reaches back behind, um, behind Strife's ear, and it's like, it, it, if you feel like right back in, the, in that little crease, right before you get to your skull, you know, attacks, attaches to your neck, you just press hard right there, and then you feel like this, like, weird tinging sensation that this like this like yeah you feel that you yeah. feel that yeah that's where it's at that's where they put it okay so it's Can really it, it's but... really not that far in it's just like right at the base of your skull um shielded against a uh, general uh uh shocks and that sort of thing uh and... you know, putting a magnet up uh, against it won't work uh, believe me i've tried Who's then? The then we, we, we need do someone who knows medical stuff. We don't know any. We don't. Do we? I know some, but not enough. You give me a beaker and a flask, and I know what to fucking do with it. Medical? Uh, dead rats, maybe? Is it possible that because Unity uh, read the medical journal and she has an eidetic memory? Yes. No, can she recite she it all? Do. She knows how not to do Not only can she, exactly she recite it, but she has watched so much TV that she can actually duplicate the things that she's seen. <laughs> she's yeah. watched enough Dr. Oz. Yeah. <laughs> like, well, like, actually. She doesn't realize that it's a superpower, but like she absolutely is not only remembering everything she's ever seen, but also like how to do it and how to like, you know, replicate the things that, that she's seen or even heard about. Yeah, she's super confident but, about it. Like, she knows how to yeah. do this. She just doesn't know that she knows. It's like, well, I mean, really, it's, all it takes is just, you know, making a very tiny incision right there. And then um, with the wire, you could probably put in a little bit of a charge. Like, you know, like, like how you do when you, like, have that little, like, static buzz. And that should be enough to really short circuit the entire system without doing any permanent damage to your brain. And really without doing enough permanent damage to stop the, uh, to stop it from pinging that say hey we're, it's still in my head everything's fine it just won't transmit out information alice starts looking between strike and unity and strike and unity and strike and unity that might actually work and she goes and starts to reach for the lamp on the table <laughs> so, not so, so i want to i want to intervene here and just real quick and say that i i feel like you shouldn't be subverting one of the systems of control this mm. in in a scene, right? Okay. So, like, we can do something maybe like minor or temporary, but um, but completely subverting the pure ID would have to be How one of the about, big wins. Well, then we could well, maybe short. Oh, we can short. Like we're the resetting upload. the system. Yeah, we're resetting the system so it completely ignores the upload. The pure ID is still there, but the upload is subverted. Or, um, in some way we prevent the just the gps uh, yeah. system from from functioning or yeah we fry the gps yeah. chip portion of it or something like that <clears> hmm <throat> yeah is would yeah. that be okay opti yeah yeah okay and yeah. I, I'm, just, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna reserve the right to to bring it back as a threat um at some point but like you what guys can fair. temporarily subvert it yeah. so we we can say that Until we the can system oh. update yeah, we can stop the the, the current upload, but it, that doesn't mean that it's not going to be able to be uploaded again oh. in the future. It'll lock the upload yeah. in at its current status, so later on maybe you can have the meter go up as they try a different update or something. So yeah. Okay, we'll so so right now uh, I'm going to go ahead and call for a struggle, and uh, what I want to happen is the struggle bus. Is the uh, pure ID to finish updating before you are able to uh, before you're able to, to stop it? And if it does update, then um, all of the knowledge that you've you've learned how to subvert it will be lost because it's an update. And then I guess our our long term goal is to basically establish a base in this town and start testing our town wide um, Q 
secure because if we get discovered with a pure ID GPS, we won't be able to stay in any town to, to actually. Yeah. Yes, pretty much. So uh, you want to be able to stop this upload and prevent yourself from showing up on the GPS. Yeah, right, but that's, to... that's that short-term goal. Like when we're doing the long-term goals, we want to be able to kind of like not subvert the authority in terms of this, but we want to make sure we're doing a long-reaching goal in the sense of, okay, yes, by subverting it, we're able to maintain our main goal of the city as our guinea pig to manage uh, a widespread cure. Basically, okay. we, want a, we want a base of operations. Okay. Because the GPS would stop us from doing that. So uh, who wants to stand up? <clears throat> I'm standing up because I've got some plans to knock out Strike as our first victim. <laughs> Love you, Oz! Nah. Ten. All right. All right. So I'm going to my trusted status to slowly start approaching Strike with a lamp behind my back that I just confiscated off one of the uh, end tables of the hotel we're staying in. Oh my god. And I'm just like, Strike, hon, we need to calm down. You're still a little twitchy there. And like, I'm just like, just sit up, start breathing here, drink some water. And as he's leaning over on the edge of the bed, I strike and what hit him. Oh my god. Oh, my god. Oh, right in the back what? of the head. All right. So you hit strike in the back of the head. Uh, to, knock in an him effort out. to knock. Yep. Yeah. Knock him out uh, of this barely? <laughs> like, am I still well, conscious? It, it, turn, it turns out, it turns out that, <clears throat> I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. This is gonna be fun. It turns out that you hit him too hard, uh, and he goes down and knocks his head on the dresser, and now it looks like he's seriously hurt and is bleeding. So unless somebody with some sort of doctor knowledge steps up, he might- I'll step up! And I'm gonna claim seven and four. Seven and four, okay. I'm sorry, Oz, I love you. <laughs> I'm, all right, all right, I'm gonna I'm I'm step up. I'm she enjoyed it. that too much. Uh, yeah, she really did. Oh man, okay. Go ahead, uh, Unity. Eight. Okay. Whew. So, um, immediately I see it's like, why did you do that? He didn't need to be unconscious for us to be able to do this. He was freaking out. He never would have let us do it fucking willingly. We don't have much time. We have less than two fucking hours. So I go, I, I like go you know, I'm down at his side and like, you know, double checking to make sure like it's not like a broken bone like his next number. I was like, okay, get him back on the bed. I can't lift him up. He's so heavy. Alice <laughs> pulls, pulls Strike back up onto the bed. It's like he's bleeding from his fucking temple. It's like it's okay, a lot of okay, fucking hold blood. On. Hold on, hold on. All right, this is what I need. Just get that stapler over there. What can get the stapler on the desk? Huh? I'm <laughs> using um my pride. Okay. <laughs> because I know what I'm doing. I've seen people staple wounds shut before. And Alice <laughs> feels like intimidated <laughs> by this little twelve-year-old, and she goes and runs and grabs her the stapler. I uh, so um I use 27%. like the. Right, I use the edge of his hoodie to like smear the blood away so I can see the wound, and it's actually quite small. So I take it like I like and just like, hold it. <laughs> well, I, mean, like I, I have like a really big grip on his head, and I I pinch it like as much as I can to like stop the like to close the wound, and then <laughs> it's like okay, give me just I, staple your head, and I'm stapling, well, staple I'm stapling his head. <laughs> it's like. I could have oh, no, cauterized before I, before it. Before I do that, before I do, well, too late. It's my, I'm doing dog yourself. You can cauterize it afterwards. <laughs> I take the little bit of whiskey that's like, like, hold on. And I just pour it over the thing to like sanitize it's it. And then, like, for and, this. Then I, and then I go, and then it's like, oh all right. Okay, it's staying. Okay. I think we're, we're good. good. We're good. We're right good. Now. Okay. And then I go. It's like, get me that wall of to that that toilet paper. We're gonna just hold it up against his head for right now. Fucking Alice runs off and grabs it to <laughs> start putting pressure on the wound. So, so, so you are standing you there are all, stunned. Yeah, you're all looking at at, um, at Unity, just like, what, what, what the <laughs> hell? Like, how, how is she even doing this? And why is it working? And oh my god, like she's some sort of freak. And then we're like, oh. <laughs> Wait, we're all, we're all freaks. It's like, yeah, it's like, and, and, and it's like, well, I, I read a book on how to survive in the wilderness on your own, and that was, yeah. but they used ants instead of staples, but I figure staples are just as good. So some sort of burgeoning awareness it hits you, and also, um, w w like, subconsciously, <laughs> like, you utter a prayer out of, uh, out of just sort of, um, 
uh, oh gosh. habit, right? Thanking, yeah. thanking whatever god there yeah. is that there was a stapler in the hotel room. Yeah. Um, and then uh, you realize that this whole mess has cost you, and now you're up to sixty uh, percent update. <laughs> I puke uh, in my I'm mouth gonna a little. Claim, <laughs> claim a little number two. Who's gonna stand up? <clears throat> Bell. But Bell's just sort of standing there stunned at the moment. He's not sure what to do. Okay, I'll step up again. I'll step up again. Okay. And um oh, let me let me do the thing first. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Six! <laughs> nice. Oh Jesus. <laughs> um Hey chat, give me another re-roll. I have a no, feeling it's bad. Just, Fuck off. Don't do it. You this don't want this easily. to end poorly. You might lose no. Oz. You guys wanna you guys no. wanna don't stop. let Oz die. We're not gonna die. <laughs> We're just all gonna get tracked. I'm gonna use my fat to uh, turn like now. As, since we're here, and I got like this, you know, like he's like unwilling victim. Yeah. Everything's gonna be okay. I'm just turn turn turn, turn this. I'm like she rolling him this way so I could like get to like the, to his ear, and then <laughs> I'm looking. I was like. Uh, uh, I need, I need, I need something sharp. I need something thin and small. Do you have a ne anyone needles? Needles? No. Um. No. I'm gonna stand up. Check the nightstand. Yeah, exactly. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. Okay. Well. Oh, I um, here's a pin. You staple them, and now you want to stab them with a fucking needle. <laughs> Like, well, if you don't have anything, I'm gonna use this pin. And so I un I like unscrew the pin cap and so and then like <clears throat> you know try to sharpen it down to like a point, just like build bending it to where it can go. And then I was like, oh, She's all gonna right, do surgery okay. on you. Right. Right. Please, I can I just just oh, like enough. I just I, <laughs> it's like all I gotta do is just poke right here. Okay. And I'm looking at like Alice and like Alice, you think this is good? Okay, yeah. Ah! <laughs> what do we do? <laughs> Authority, when can I stand up, please? Okay, so uh, what what happens here at this point? And, but... and this comes out of nowhere. Yeah. But he should be completely knocked out. There is no way, right, that somebody should be conscious about this. But you realize that as you're about to stab him. Um, Strike's eye opens, and it's sort of like, like the pupil is like non-existent, and it just sort of looks at you. You know what I mean? Like not moving, not anything. Like he's com he's totally knocked out, but his eye is looking at you, as if he's not completely in control of it. Hey, Guys. Radio Free! Radio Free just became our stream boss. Woo! Let us know. You can uh, you can support. Uh, authority <laughs> click or both? <sighs> Respect the authority! Yeah! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh. Nice! Fuck! I was too oh, late on that cheer! Oh, Amazon took too long to process my bits! <laughs> my <Motherfucker>. fucker! <laughs> <laughs> you your own self bits, I love you it. You have 250 HP, you can do something. Alright, so who's gonna stand up? Oh wait, I wanna claim, uh, Yeah, you gotta claim. Well. I'm gonna throw something at you, Damien. You shut the fuck up over there. <laughs> this, this is turning into, uh, uh, the, the game of, uh, adult rebellion on the and online Homer, world. no, you're still my fucking nemesis. <laughs> Don't think you can fucking slip that so quickly. Damien is the authority. Damien is going to be sleeping on the fucking couch tonight. That's what's going to be happening over uh, there. Look at that. Depending It'll on take about 15 seconds to sit in because of delay, but he'll get it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Hey, <laughs> stop waiting for it and take a turn. <laughs> Somebody needs to stand up. up. I'm standing the fuck up because this is getting insane. Okay. Nine. Oh my god, this doesn't end. <laughs> <laughs> right? Like last, last couple times we've like hit these so quickly and now we're like... We're like uh, rolling pretty Holy balls. eclectically. <laughs> oh I'm, I'm, all right. So I'm gonna use my smarts. I'm fucking like telling the unity to calm the fuck down. I've got an idea. I go into the bathroom and I take one of the cheap shitty towels off of the wall, wrap my hand in it, and punch the fucking mirror. 
and watch it shatter and take like wedge one of the shards of glass out using the towel and I come back and I hand that to her and said I'm like sharp enough. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> this is can... not the ideal uh what operating room. Can, can, what you, can you shut his eye please? It's staring at me. She reaches over and just closes the lid. He's still out. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so you are now holding the lid of his eye closed. <laughs> so, so since I have that, um, so do can I can I do the the piercing now, or do we, you is, that a, okay, you so hear, is that another stand up? As as okay. you're approaching, you hear even though like the lid is closed, you just hear a strike through. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I you know what, I feel sure. bad. I've taken Strike's agency away in this scene. D D uh, does that bother no, you, Oz? No. Okay. No, not at all. Because I, I feel bad about that. But. Alice, no, I, if I find sure an appropriate tell... moment to take, I, like I know that I'm conscious at least. So if I find a moment, okay. I'll take it. But I'm fine. I'm fine okay. being the the problem. <laughs> Alice tells Unity, "Don't forget to like clean the blade or the, clean the shard of glass with a little bit of whiskey <laughs> before you cut." <laughs> okay. Um. So I guess am I stepping up again for this? Is that what's happening? No, it's, uh, right. Alice stood up, and now it's, um, the authorities turn to do something. Oh, I thought he did the, oh, right, yeah, you're right. Yeah, so if you wanted to, if you wanted to stab him, then you'd have to stand up and just stab him, see what happens. Oh, dang. The authority has <laughs> Radio became our stream boss again. What's oh, the actual fuck? Oh, my God. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> authority just got another block. Gave another to the authority. Yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> no. no, no, no. We're no, two no, to no. two, guys. Jesus. Okay. Yes. I'm doing it. Oh, my God. I'm, fuck it. Oh, God. I'm doing it. This is amazing. Thank you, guys. <laughs> oh, I've got a six. Oh, we're going to reroll that. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Thank, thanks to my friend, Radio Free su <laughs> Supplies. Okay. I got an eight. Dad, gum it. Uh. You gonna waste both of them in one thing? Are you gonna let? Yeah, I'm gonna reroll. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh Jesus. Uh... Oh my god. Oh, eight. eight. Yes. Dang it. I'm oh, sorry. We're doing. I'm sorry, radio now. free. <laughs> yeah, this is for I've you, radio free. Did it. Fuck <laughs> it. And you know, you know. Uh, Dang. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> All right. So, what are you gonna use? Um. Well, I, I, Palmer became our stream boss. <laughs> Jeez. I, I'm using this is the. Great. I'm using <laughs> the. Uh, um. I'm going back to pride since that's what I rolled the first time, and I know exactly what I'm doing now. I've got this, and it's a, it's the best beautiful sliver uh, of, of, of glass, and so I've kind of like wrapped toilet paper around it so I don't cut myself. And I'm like, okay. And three, two, one, and then I push my hand through so it's like, nah. uh, uh, like like a essentially about a three quarters of an inch uh, like incision it like your deep deep into his head and then I'll look for two uh <laughs> to, <laughs> to Bell and like, okay Bell, come here. I just all you need to do and I remove the toy it's like all you need to do is just kinda of, you know, you, you should be able to feel it once you're there, and it, and it should just be a straight conduit, like right to you, know, right to you know what to do, right? We talked about this. All you gotta do is just like give it a little, like, like the teensiest, like you know when you walk across, and she's like explaining like how to make a static charge to a person who you know controls electricity, <laughs> very very noble kind of way. So essentially, you do yeah. this really. Bizarre thing you should not be able to do. Yes. <laughs> in a hotel room. <laughs> in a hotel room. <laughs> with, with odd utensils. Yeah, um, yeah. And you're able to halt. You're able to halt the, the update. The update. Uh, yeah. On strike. Um, okay. If I'm not. Did we get one from Palmer and one from yeah. Sabinus? So yeah. yeah so yeah, the yeah, way yeah. That it worked out. Yeah. So it worked out. Uh, Palmer decided to help the authority this time because he's liking the prolonging of the. Of the struggles, and then yeah, Katie Savinas just got us uh, another reroll. So it's one you, to three. Okay, yeah. so uh, we have one to yeah. three. You guys are rolling pretty amazingly. Uh, okay, That's so okay. You, um, <laughs> there's there's always time for us to fail. So, so a couple things have happened in this scene. Um, you figured out that you can stop the update. 
Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and allow you to just say that you can stop the update for everybody. Um, I'm going to say which, based on the kind of what she said and in, in seeing it work, uh, I kind of figure out a sort of a this this electromagnetic pulse thing that I can do that sort of uh, interrupts it, the update uh, for the rest of us, so we don't have to get carved up like Strike did. <laughs> yeah, and you've also realized that there is probably something else happening through that update um, via like being able to to use it both ways, like whatever you see, they see kind of thing. Um, yeah. And and also, um, you find yourself wondering uh, about Unity and what the hell, uh, because that's not that's not normal. Now that yeah, yeah the adrenaline is worn off. Unity, what the fuck? And also, um, Strike wakes up and he is. Uh, he hurts really, really, really bad, <laughs> and he's bleeding a lot. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Don't worry, good. we've stopped the upload. Everything's fine. You, I, I <laughs> Everything's also. Everything's fine. <laughs> Everything's fine now. <laughs> I'm trying to save us some tea. <laughs> <laughs> it's like. Yeah, Alice did it with your best interests in mind. I'm sure. She comes over with a bottle of Advil, looking very apologetic. Wrong bottle. Calm down. I can cauterize it for you if you want, and she flicks the finger off. Your first response to things needs to not be hitting things with glass. <laughs> Sorry. Especially Did not I... me, okay? Or not any of us. Can we just agree that we shouldn't be hitting each other? That she nods enthusiastically. Like <laughs> she extends cool like a bottle of Advil. Uh, really we're going to move on. Let's okay. get to work. Four. Well, actually, how about a how about a ten minute break? Okay. Yeah, we can do that. Let's okay. do a ten minute break, and we'll return with oh scenes four through seven. Sounds Stay good. Stay tuned.